Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for a very special episode of Subscriber Designs. This is the Fighter Showdown. Last time I had the Euro Fighter fighting the Sukhoi, and I said, well, maybe we should get a bunch of fighters together and find the best one, and wow, I got a lot of craft, so yeah. A lot of people sent in fighters, a lot of people sent in other stuff, and next week we'll probably just have a normal subscriber designs, but hey, we're gonna put a bunch of stuff against each other. I won't be using all of the craft I've been sent, because I've sent a lot. Um, but yes, uh, this is later than it would be, because last week I was a little ill, and that kind of screwed up my schedule. But anyway, I think that's everything. Right now, we've got the SU-27s from Nicholas, which have been the supreme, just awesome fighter for a while. They destroyed the, um... The Eurofighter last time, they'd be F-22s in the past, and they're doing pretty good. So we've got them out here, two of them, and they're going to be fighting two MiG-29. Sent to me from someone, I'm sorry, I couldn't find the email. I downloaded these a while ago, and I love them. So I'm sorry to who sent them sent them to me, because uh, I, just, I just couldn't find the email. I tried so hard, that search wouldn't work, I don't know. But anyway, yes, these are MiG-29s, what the, what the uh, SU-27s are based off, and they're a nice design. They're kind of different from them, and they've just got some nice contours, and I like them very much. So I've armed them, and they're ready to go. Or maybe they came armed. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, they also had drop tanks on them, but they've dropped. So yes, these will be going up, and the Sukhois will be going up. So let's go! Let's uh, switch the teams on these, and they'll be getting into the air. Along with the MiGs. Now the MiGs are carrying a lot more fuel, so they might be a little way down, so I might let them all get into the air first. Um, and then we'll turn on uh, dogfighting, otherwise these are just going to be taking off and these are going to be just going in for the kill right off the bat. So, we'll let these all get to orbiting, you know, because you can see they, these are taking a little while to take off. And now they're in the air, we can turn on guard mode. Alright! So everyone's everyone's getting ready, missiles away, the Sukhois fire first, um, and the MiGs start pulling evasive maneuvers, they don't seem to have any flares. What the dickens? Um, anyway, yeah, they still managed to... That one didn't manage to avoid, but this one did. It pops a missile away, but it gets distracted by a flare, and uh, this tumbles... Oh, it tumbles a little bit into a dive? It's getting below the MiGs, I, the Sukhois, I guess? But yeah, it's having trouble keeping pace, I think. I think it's just too heavy, filled with fuel. Maybe I should have drained it a bit. But hey, that's not on me. That's on the designer, who will, who is still nameless. But yeah, if you, it was you, you can be in the comments like, It was me! Oh, dodged another missile. But torn apart. Oh no! Still alive! Whoa, just lost some wing. This is pretty durable. It's not gonna win, I don't think, but it's trying real hard. Um, oh, opens up. Opens up on one of the Sukhois. Oh, and oh, when he takes him, he hits him. <laughs> he hasn't killed him, but he's done some serious damage. Um, this one is, yeah, it took, well, took off an air in sake. But he's still alive. He's still going. This is impressive. <laughs> I'm enjoying this very much. I'm obviously not flying these myself because it would be a little um, unfair to the person I'm flying. Anyway, yes, the MiG is taken down. But it wasn't without a fight. But anyway, let's move on to the next plane, the Sukhois. Still reign supreme. So the next thing that we'll be fighting the SU-27s are a couple of F-15s sent to me by Florin. Um, they're pretty nice. They're some nice looking planes. And uh, they've got, uh, they're fairly light on fuel, which is good. They did have some drop tanks, as many of the planes I get sent do, but I dropped them because uh, we don't want to be weighed down in a short dogfight. Yes, these are armed similarly to the um, to the Sukhois. They have a gun, they have some missiles. I armed these myself because a lot of the planes I get sent don't have any weapons on them, which is fine, although it does mean for something like this I have to spend a while putting weapons on things. But anyway, enough talk. Let's get into the air. Um, go! Shit. Okay. Okay, good. They're going. I thought I hadn't turned the engines on. <laughs> We're going to turn guard mode off once again so that we can get into the air at the same pace. Well, get into the air first and then fight. These do have flares on them. I'm not sure if the Minx were sent to me without flares or if it was my fault, but, uh, Whatever the case may be, um, it'll be fine. Okay, right. So, now they are up to fighting strength. The missiles are away, but this one has seemed to turn, but it is popping shaft. Well, hopefully not get killed by an AMRAM, because it would be nice to have a slightly longer fight, but... Ooh! Takes a hit, but it's not killed, but it is missing an engine. Now, an F-15 probably can fly with but one engine. Oh, it's actually doing a pretty good job. The AI... Oh! One of the SUs is taken down. He's a dead man. The other SU's dodging another missile, but what can it do? 
Oh, oh, this is a close fight. These F-15s, they're doing a good job. This is like Operation Desert Storm up in here. Um, when the... Oh! Did you see that? The remaining F-15 gets taken down. And this has actually had its weapons stripped off it. It's still going, but it's had its weapons stripped off it. So it's had its weapon manager stripped off it. So it's not technically in the fight. I'm going to do that again. Because that was close. And if the other one was still alive, you never know. And because that was awesome. So let's go again. <laughs> uh, I'm probably just going to do most of these once. That's why I'm using two craft instead of just one. Um, but yeah, okay. Right, are these all on guard mode? Did I? Oh, fuck, I didn't quick save. Going to have to edit this. But in fairness, I didn't build these craft and I'm not actually flying them myself. So I'm not actually doing much this video. I'm just basically doing what you're doing. I'm watching the video, but I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> uh, it's... Funny how things work out, right? Um, righty roo. We'll do the same. We'll get in the air. Uh, so we'll change the teams, change the teams, get in the air. Go, 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 go. That one's not taken off, but it's fine because we'll just turn guard mode off. They'll all take off. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll get them orbiting and then we'll fight again. That was impressive, though. It took a missile and didn't die. That's quite. That's These, these are hardy planes. I mean, they have been known to fly with but one wing, which is quite impressive. So, yep, they're in the air. We're just going to very quickly flick guard mode on using Vessel Switcher. I am indeed using Vessel Switcher. It makes my life much, much easier. Two missiles away from this one as it dives down to pull evasive maneuvers to avoid the missiles coming in for itself. Two missiles locked onto one of the Sukhois, which... Is it dodging? Does it? It does have flares. I'm just making sure. Um, so, yes, hopefully... Oh! They're going in for a bit of a joust, but it looks like the Sukhoi's doing a better job of shooting, but they both avoid each other. I have got infinite ammo on because um, the AI pilot is, you know, notoriously bad at, um, you know, not using all of its ammo very quickly for no kills. I'm having trouble seeing who's whom. That looks like the F-15 passes me by uh, with the <laughs> Su-27 in tow, but he's turned around trying to get on me. Some gunfire comes in. This is a much better fight than last time. Uh, well, a much longer fight, at least. Looks like this might take him down. Much like in um, Iraq, when the F-15s slaughtered the... Uh, well, slaughtered a lot of the MiGs. Um, and there were some older planes they also took down. Um, how are the others going on? There's one right on my ass, but it looks like the other F-15 might kill him. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but there's been an explosion on one of the Sukhois. I'm going to see which one that is. Oh, this one's lost a wing, and he's no doubt going to die. This one's lost an air intake. These F-15s, I didn't think they'd take it, but it looks like they might just. Um, yeah, it looks like this guy's going to tumble into the ground, but he's doing a good job. There is still some wing there, but every time he pulls any kind of maneuver, he's going to flip out and probably have trouble. Looks like there's another explosion down there. Was it the flanker? It was not. It was one of the F-15s. There's another one on the flanker's tail, but... Oh, something exploded, but no one died. Well, that's good. That's what you want. <laughs> um, well, actually, it's not what you want. You want this to be over soon, otherwise I'm going to have to edit this video. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I probably will have to. I've got a lot of fighters planned for this. But, oh, it looks like he, this guy may have just stalled out. May have cost him the fight. How's the other flanker going? Oh, missile buzzes past that one. He's, he's on the ropes now, really. They might even chase him into the ground, but... Uh, it's not looking good for the uh, for the Russians, for them for them Ruskies. It's go oh oh hey oh hey oh hey oh no he's got nothing he's got nothing yeah this guy is just fucked um, we'll call him dead um, <laughs> yeah um, well we'll leave him up just in case he pops off a missile but uh, it's not looking good for him he can do very large circles um, looks like a missile is going for that guy but he did manage to evade it impressive. Quite a long fight happening here. I wonder why you turned on infinite ammo tape. It's because these take a while. Ooh, that's pretty formidable, that F-15 behind you. It's a big plane, and it looks like it's going to take this guy down. A lot of hits coming in. A lot of things heating up. After a little... Oh, this is really cool. Oh, oh. But he explodes into death. And the F-15... Oh, wow, that was the most amazing shot. Of him just, like, hovering there, the bot, and then just kind of buzzing out. I'm going to let him go and hunt down the final one. Um, oh, he's running over this way and he's got a guy on his tail. One of these big, scary F-15s. He pulls some probably involuntary maneuvers there, but oh, god damn. <laughs> there is nothing about Kerbal Space Program that isn't beautiful all the time. But this guy appears to be going up in flames now. He's holding on a while. These MiGs are surprised. These Sukhois are surprisingly durable. 
damn, dude, I love this stuff. <laughs> you just, oh, the guy, what the fuck? Oh my god, these, I, I don't even have words. I'm just blown away by how awesome all of this looks. The planes buzzing around each other. You know, I'm glad I'm not flying these planes. I'm just having fun watching it. Is this what my content looks like all the time? Wow, you guys are so lucky. <laughs> not because of me, just because of BD Armory. Whoever, Mr. BD Armory. Um, oh, miss, oh, misses, holy crap. Oh, but then one finally kills him. That was intense. The F-15 is the new champion. Who will he fight next? Let's find out. So the next craft we'll be looking at is the SU-35. Coming to me from Kinlock Mac. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that name, but whatever. Anyway, these are SU-35s, and they are rather beautiful. Slightly more modern aircraft. I have changed them a little bit, switched out the normal nose cone for a ray dome, put some weapons on them. But they look rather beautiful. They're very sleek, very kind of... Yeah, I just I was hit by the sleekness of these when I saw them. Quite big planes, but you can see they just... They have nice contours. I really like these. Well, enough talk. Let's just get these into the air. Because these, this is, yeah, let's see if they can take down the glorious F-15s. Uh, is everything good? Turn guard mode off. These are more laden with fuel, actually. So I think they might have more trouble. But who knows? They might be incredibly maneuverable. They didn't take off much later than the F-15s. Um, probably should have installed hyper edit, really, so that I could just actively drain fuel more easily. Um, anyway, I'm going to wait for these to get to uh, altitude where they can orbit and see what happens. Um, Alright, they're up. Let's turn guard mode on on the F-15s and the SU-35s. I guess there's a slight advantage to whomever I click first. Anyway, ooh, the missiles are away, but they managed to fire some themselves and start pulling evasive maneuvers. Popping chaff, because those are AMRAMs. Radar-seeking missiles. Just missing, and just missing the other one. Well... Now, the F-15s in real life are the most successful fighters in history, but that is partly to do with the skill of the American pilots. That's why they did so well in Desert Storm, um, or is it Desert Shield? It was the one in Iraq where they fought a lot of MiGs. Um, and yeah, but they are very successful. They've been used by other countries as well. You know, they're used widely in Israel. Um, oh, it looks like we're taking fire now, but this is putting some fire down on an F-15. Pretty impressive, but it just isn't quite maneuverable enough. Another one takes some more shots of the F-15, but it's not quite getting there. How's this one doing? Pulling around, dodging some shots. Looks like the F-15s are on the tails now. I think these are just a little too loaded with fuel. Um, yep, yeah, there goes one. The F-15 takes them down in a blaze of glory. Ooh, uh, yeah, it is that, actually. I thought it wasn't for a second because there was another plane firing. But he's just firing at the debris like a crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, there goes the debris. Anyway, it looks like this guy's having a little trouble maneuvering. Um, I might drain some fuel off these and try this again, because it does seem unfair. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, Alright. Okay. Oh. Okay. Because I, when, I, when someone sends me stuff with drop tanks, I drop them, so maybe I should drain some fuel. This guy's having real trouble, yeah. Alright, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drain the fuel. We're going to drain that swamp <laughs> and try it again. So, yes, here we are. We've drained the fuel. And, uh, well, drained most of the fuel. Um... And uh, now they should be fairly even and should fight much better. Yes, um, I guess those just had less fuel in them. And yeah, they still look to be a little more sluggish because they're just bigger planes than the uh, F-15s, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a little more fair now because they were seem to be having trouble. I mean, you could imagine that most of the time after um, they'd have to cruise a little bit first uh, before they'd actually get into combat. Anyway, now they shall turn and fight. Um... Missiles away from the F-15s a little faster. It looks like we've only got one missile away from the Sukhois. And, oh, that one strips off a wing, just clips it. That was a lucky shot, really, but uh, quite impressive. I guess that's just faster turning radius and taking off faster. I mean, that is, you know, that is just uh, an advantage the plane has been given by its design. Missiles flying in. It looks like this one is pretty much screwed, and this one has been torn apart quite quickly by the F-15s. Well then, seems the F-15s still hold supreme. Whoa, the camera shakes still on. Every time something explodes, it goes crazy. Another missile flies in, probably to destroy the final Sukhoi. Destroy a Sukhoi? That kind of rhymes. Shittily, but it sort of rhymes. Anyway, yeah, it looks like it's not losing its mark, and it will indeed kill this pla- oh wait, it did just dodge, but it seems to have uh, forced it into the ground. 
um, and we're aware it will crash. Uh, actually, how I think the first kill in Operation Desert Storm happened, um, forced crash. Um, yeah. Anyway, seems the F-15s are still alive, not even damaged. Well, we'll have to find something to defeat them. Maybe another Russian jet, maybe some more American jets. Um, that British jet, the Eurofighter I got sent, was out last time to the uh, Sukhoi. But anyway, yes, let's find someone else. So next, we have a pair of F-16s sent to me by Randy Co. At least that's how the uh, email is signed off. But yes, a couple more American jets, some light fighters. Actually, the most produced fighter in the world. So the most successful versus the most produced. Maybe there should be more of these or something. But anyway, yes, let's get up into the air. I do like these designs. They're quite nice, these wing, the wing surfaces in a very nice way. And I do love the intake down here. In fact, I think I may have reviewed this before, but whatever. <laughs> it's not about reviews today. It's about a fight. So yes, they'll get into the air. They have relatively similar amounts of fuel relative to their amount of engines. Um, so hopefully it will be fairly balanced. However, the F -6, F-15s do take off first. We are going to turn off guard mode, of course. Um, and yes, I do love the F-16. I think it may be one of my, maybe my favorite fighter jet. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, I am partial to many a fighter jet. Anyway, yes, they bank right. And that is a sign that it is time to turn on guard mode and start this fight. So, I wonder if the thing will beat these F-15s. It would be rather satisfying, actually, if the F-15s did win, because then the most successful fighters in the real world would be the most successful fighters in the KSP world. It would be great. Um, looks like these F-16s haven't really turned well, and they just managed to dodge a missile, but they haven't really turned to fight particularly well. They appear to just be running away. Um, one of them gets taken down swiftly by an F-15, and so does another. Oh, but it loses a missile! Oh, hell, son! Oh, hell, son! Oh, almost got him. Oh, my God, look at that. Look how close he is. Uh, oh, God. Uh, it's not actually entirely unfeasible that an F-16 or an F-15 would come into combat, because, um, you know, many countries have F-16s and many countries have F-15s, although they're all probably friends with the United States, because that's how they got them. So the U.S. would be like, yeah, maybe don't fight. Um, but, you know... Who knows? Um, anyway, yes, the F-15s have no trouble polishing them off. Yeah. I was, uh... They just didn't turn to fight. I guess we're gonna have to move on to the next ones. These, uh, fights are getting less impressive now that the F-15s are here. <laughs> They're just winning. So, I have decided to bring out the F-22s, also from Florida, actually, who decided who designed the F-15s. So, <laughs> we'll see if he can beat himself with some more modern fighters. Yes, the only really working stealth fighters right now, except for some Russian developments and I guess the F-35. But yes, let's see what these do. In uh, the real world, yeah, they've been able to... Is he taking off? I haven't activated their engine, so they probably won't. <laughs> I was gonna say in the real world, using stealth, the F-22s have been able to go like one for eight and like two for 16 against... Um, against uh, F-15s, but obviously stealth isn't a thing in KSP, because why would it be? So uh, they probably won't have quite that uh, level of success today. Um, come on. Go, you fuck. Jesus. <laughs> we'll turn guard mode off, because this one is a little slow to get in the air. But yes, the F-15's already in the air. The F-22s are taking off. They're loaded with a slightly different payload, actually. A couple of AMRAMs and a couple... Well, and, well four AMRAMs and two Sidewinders instead of two two AMRAMs and four Sidewinders, as most of them have. Yes, he's getting in the air. These are very wing surface heavy, so should be maneuverable, but will also have a lot of drag. And they're also using these air brakes to maneuver, which isn't great, because that's going to fuck them up. Anyway, let's see. The F-22s, they turn very quickly... Pop missiles away, they have that advantage that they can turn incredibly quickly, but it does take away a lot of their velocity. Now, ooh, one's sneaking in. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming for him. And it hits the F-22, ripping him to shreds. The other one, still alive. Um, it's just quite a big plane, I guess. That's a bit of a shame. Maybe it's just unfortunate. But, yeah, getting ripped apart by guns as well. Both of the F-15s seem to still be in working order. Um, oh, they're clashing now, though. Oh, but it looks like he's getting behind him. Oh, wait, no, the, F the F-22 is run away. But pulled some good evasive maneuvers. And oh, shit. Oh, the missile just misses the F-22. Okay, he's going two, two against one. He can surely do this with his superior technology. And he's shredded and dead. Well, shit, son. <laughs> wow, he flew right through that storm. 
Yeah, that's... Fuck. I don't know what to do now. I think these may just be the supreme fighter. We do have one more thing. Uh, <laughs> actually, I've been selling a bunch of stuff. Maybe I could just try everything. But at the risk of making this video the longest thing in the world, I think we'll just try one more fighter. So the last planes that we'll be flying against the F-15s today are some Su-47s. I, again, I, I'm not sure exactly who sent these to me. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Um, but yes, these are some more Russian planes. They're uh, modern and have forward swept wings for some reason. I don't know. Let's just get them in the air and see if they can knock these guys off their throne. So yes, they take off slowly. <laughs> Make sure guard mode's off. Um, they took a little while to get off the ground there. Yeah, anyway. So, no, not while to get off the ground. While to just get started. Anyway, they take off. They've got front canards. They've got rear wings. they got everything. Hopefully they... We'll be able to knock these F-15s off their horses. Because, you know, F-15s and their stupid horses. They're always riding horses. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa! He came riding my camera, bro! Get out of my camera, bro! If this guy gets taken out, the debris field's probably going to kill the other plane. Um, quickly, pull the base of maneuvers. Oh, they did. Wow, look at that. They're flying in formation. They're just fucking with these missiles. The F-15's still alive, but they hound in now. But oh, eh? Looks like uh, he's popping flares because of a missile which just misses this one. That was pretty cool. Holy shit. Um, oh, looks like he might have one of them. Oh, they're avoiding. Maybe they can't... F oh, yeah, no. He's dead. <laughs> God damn it. It's not over, though. This guy is maneuverable and he's lasted a lot longer than the last few planes. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, oh, he opens up. The camera wobbles on. For fuck's sake, I hate camera wobble. Why is that even... Why is that even a thing? Oh, but he's torn apart. Not dead, though. He's still got an engine. But no. Oh, no AI pilot. Shit, it's down to me. Oh, no. That's real bad. And I'm dead. <laughs> so, the F-15s reign supreme. Well, rather impressive. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's shooting the other one. I thought that guy was shooting at me. What happens if they fight each other? Oh, I'm... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, let's put them up against each other for the last bit. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go that. And then we're gonna fight! Go, 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 go! They've got, like, no missiles. Oh, they, no, they do, actually. Um, they were firing Amrams at the start, I guess. Oh, he's above him. He'll win. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I really have. It's been so much fun. The F-15 had such superiority, though. It's a bit of a shame. But uh, if you sent something in and you haven't seen it, well, I'm sorry. I got sent so many things for this. Like, a lot of things. But I might do another one of these at some point, maybe with a whole fresh set of planes, and then do a third one where the F-15 fights whatever wins the other one. That'd be pretty cool. Looks like this guy's pretty fucked up now. But yeah. Anyway, though, um, keep sending me your stuff. There'll be a normal subscriber designs thing next week so that it doesn't just have to be fighters. And as always, send me anything. I get a lot of war stuff, but I get it. That's what my channel's about. But yeah, anyway, if you want to go check out a couple more videos now, there's uh, my latest episode of Prison Architect, where we build Dave America his very own house. That was yesterday. And on Friday, there was Fall of Kerb in episode 15, in which we sink the Voldov, which is a big-ass battleship. And we, we pound it with F4U Corsairs. It's great. Um, and yeah, there's also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description if you're interested. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Chaos with Tape. I'll see you next time.